Hi folks, welcome back to the Carver Squid Shop. This is Arlene once again, and I'm sorry it took so long to get back to this, but um, we are starting on this little pea pod here uh, with the baby in the pea pod. And I did the circles on both sides like we described on the last video. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do the top. Now what I did was I marked it down the center so we'd leave enough room on either side uh, to finish this off when we first initially cut it. Then this is our leaf area right here. I started to chip out a little bit at the top. So we want to mark that off on both sides. Okay. And then what I did was I marked it at a diagonal right here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut, kind of cut this section out and this first. So let's take a knife and make sure your knife is really super sharp for this, folks. It really makes a world of difference. Okay. We're going to do one side. And then we're going to kind of go into the other side here and cut this out. Okay? Just want to be real careful not to cut anything out. You know, kind of use that slicing motion that we talked about before. We're just going to take that out. Now, the thing here is it, it comes up like this and comes around, you know, like a little, little hole right here. Okay? So we're going to dig that out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, once you get that established on either side, which we kind of do here, I don't want to take too much off here because we're going against the grain here. I'm going from memory what I had before <laughs> on the other one. So, because uh, the other one's been given away already. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to dig this out underneath here. Okay, just very small little chips. We don't want to go too crazy here. All right, and we're going to take that out over there, okay, and what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of slice that out, that little hole there. Let me bring this up nice and close so you guys can see it, exactly what I'm doing, make sure it's focused. What we're going to do is we're just going to figure out where that little hole is, and we're just going to go a little bit from the, from the side here and go over, and just kind of put a little little circular cut in there. Now what I did do, folks, I wet it with a little bit of alcohol and water to soften it up so I didn't have to put too much pressure. Okay, see how we've just got that out there? Like a little teardrop. And that's all we're doing. We're going to just dig that out. Just like so. Alright. Now, and it's got a little dirty because my hands are a little dirty today from picking up branches. I forgot to wash them before doing this, but I'm not going to stop right now in the midst of this. So I can always wipe this off. Um, we want to round off the top. Okay, we're going to round off the, the other side. Now be real mindful because the grain is running the way the knife is, this way. Okay, up and down. This way it's running. Okay, so you want to be really mindful how you're cutting that. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to push that the tip of this inward. We're going to dig it out from the other side, kind of figure out where that is, and go on to the other side, and just kind of make a little hole, a little V cut there, so we get all the way through. All right, shoot your knife, poke it in there. Just be very, very careful, folks. You want to take your time doing this. There's no rush. I'm rushing because I'm on the film here and I want to show you what it looks like. But you can use a little drill too if you want. You want to be very, very careful though. Uh, you kind of want to free that up from the bottom there. Okay. We're going to go a little further. We're just going to keep splicing out here a little bit. It, it's really good to have a good, sharp, detailed, small knife. I'm just using my pocket knife that I revamped um, here some time ago. So You just want to keep digging all the way through until you get to the other side. And then you want to just round this off. Okay? So I'm going to do most of this offline because I don't want to snap anything off. Um, but it's got to go up a little higher. Just like so. We're going to take this off. We're going to take all those little li black lines off too. Alright. Kind of work it out. 
you know, and keep cutting it out a little bit here and there. But that's what, what how you get that little loopy thing at the top. Same thing with your leaf. What you want to do is you just want to kind of round the leaf off a little bit. And on this side, you're going to free it as well. So we're just going to put a little V cut there. Let me bring this back a little bit. You guys can see it a little bit better. Cut this out a little bit. And just take your time when you do this. There's no hurry with it. I'm just going to round this kind, the tip of this off a little bit. All right, just like so. All right, so it's very simple to do. It 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 doesn't take a lot of effort to do it. Just you need to take your time with it. Yeah, like just like I am now. I'm just kind of fussing with it a little bit here and there. And if you feel it tug a little bit, turn it over. You know, go with the grain as much as possible. If you go against the grain. Use your spray a little bit, like I'm doing now, and that's out half rubbing alcohol and half water, and I use a 70%. You just get some alcohol in there, and and uh, that will soften it up. All right, so that's all that's to that. I'll finish this up more when I'm offline. Okay, so we pretty well have him done. The only other thing we have to do is this little thing at the end here. I'm going to spray that while I'm at it. Okay, what we want to do is we just want to take a, a line across a little ways, maybe a fourth of an inch or a little bit more, and then use your finger to mark it just like so to get it all even all the way around. And all we're going to do is we're going to make a little V cut, so we're going to follow this all the way around. Bring this out a little bit so you can see it. And then we're just going to do a little V cuts, just like so, to that center line on either side. All right, that's all that's to that. You want to go all the way around, do all of it. I'll be back with another clip in a second, folks. We're running out of time. <laughs> 